Okay, so it's December 2020, and uh, this is the end of 2020, and it's been an awful year, but I couldn't quite figure out exactly how to end this, but I figure the most appropriate right way would be to finish up with the news that I've got. Uh, and I've got good news and I've got bad news, and I'm going to separate them into two videos, so this one will be the bad news, and I'll link up to the good news one. So here's the bad news. The deplatforming of biohackers is continuing, especially the CDC, the Central Dogma Collective, uh, which is me, Josiah, and Daria, especially since we started work on the DIY coronavirus vaccine class. We were deplatformed by Patreon. One of Daria's videos was killed by YouTube. Some of my videos have been um, age restricted. Uh, one of Josiah's videos was deleted, and as of a few days ago, his entire channel was deleted by YouTube, citing um, different things, uh, mostly that it's dangerous. In Daria's, it was uh, that it went against the World Health Organization, even though all she was doing was human cell culture, so that doesn't really make sense, because she didn't mention the World Health Organization or even really mention vaccines or anything. And in my case, uh, it's like, your videos are dangerous, and in Josiah's case, it's like your videos are very dangerous repeatedly. The first one to get removed on his channel was the video of us all doing our uh, DIY coronavirus injection, and then the entire channel. You know, this is, so this is a problem. And uh, we didn't stream, this is a Sunday, we didn't stream today, and we won't be streaming for a little bit. We gotta figure out uh, exactly where we go from here, because it really doesn't make sense to invest in a platform that's just going to cancel us, because if we put years of work into something and they just delete it all, then it really doesn't serve any purpose. It's just a big waste of time. The trick is uh, we want to make this stuff accessible and we want to make it freely and easily accessible for anybody. But at the same time, um, you know, we want it to just not disappear someday. Now we've managed to back everything up and we still have access to everything, but we need to find a platform that we can get it on that won't delete everything. Um, been a huge amount of work, a lot of money spent, a lot of time spent, uh, obviously some risk to ourselves, and the whole goal of this thing is to educate people and to empower people, and I think that's really the fundamental problem. You know, these platforms, anything you do, DIY bio, that's actually powerful, right, that's actually uh, meaningful, that's like, that creates infrastructure for people to make meaningful changes for themselves, and, and for their lives, the problem with empowerment, fundamentally the problem with empowerment is it creates a risk for the powerful, right? So YouTube doesn't want to be held responsible for somebody doing something that injures them. So these are powerful technologies. And every powerful technology carries a certain amount of risk. Every powerful technology carries risk. And so they want to be completely separated from all risk. And how do the powerful separate themselves from risk? They just silence the less powerful. So, um, if those things continue, Twitter, Facebook, they could all silence us too. Um, now we can you know, get our own website and we'll continue to put stuff there. Uh, the problem is almost nobody will ever see it. So, uh, suggestions would be helpful. So you can leave suggestions down. I will definitely read them all. Um, the issue is, uh, we need to find a platform or some method to distribute information that is powerful information, empowering information, right, for how to use a powerful technology and give it away to anybody and everybody in a way that powerful people won't feel threatened by. And I don't know that that's possible. I don't know that these powerful platforms, powerful people, will ever feel comfortable with everyday people being empowered. And that's really what they're saying. They're saying somebody who's an uneducated schmuck will try something and hurt themselves and it'll be our fault, so we're gonna just shut you down. And in their mind, that's a reasonable thing to say, right? And really they're just limiting their exposure. But, the problem is, those uneducated schmucks of people like me, right? So like, I didn't go to college, I don't have a degree. Everybody who knows my channel knows that. 
people can learn things. People aren't as dumb as everybody thinks they are. Uh, you know, you can learn these things. You can learn how to do them safely. But you can't learn them if nobody will teach you. And I feel like there's a greater risk to silence. Because these are powerful technologies and people will want to use them. And so people will go out and they'll explore and they'll use these technologies. But if there's no good resources for learning this stuff, then people will learn incomplete things. And they'll do things that are more dangerous because they half understand something. And I think it's more dangerous to have a little bit of knowledge than a lot of knowledge. So I want to give away a lot of knowledge because if you give away a lot, people will have a more complete understanding and they'll be able to operate and do things that are more powerful, more real, more meaningful and safer. The trouble is, people don't want to be responsible. They don't want to take, they don't want to be exposed to risk, right? They don't care if someone gets hurt. That's not what they're actually trying to prevent. They're trying to prevent being responsible or blamed for someone getting hurt. They're trying to just steer clear of any possible culpability, which I understand it's just shitty. So, um, if YouTube feels, which they seem to, like DIY Bio is fundamentally too risky for YouTube. It's too risky to teach people how to do real, meaningful genetic engineering on YouTube, then my channel's done for anyway. Um, so they're going to eventually review my channel and decide this guy's teaching people how to do bioscience themselves without going through the proper channels and authorities and 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 you know uh, getting a degree and, and all the sort of hoops you're supposed to jump through and that represents a risk because people might do things that they learn and and they feel like everybody's stupid if they don't have a PhD so which you know so, which even, you know, Josiah does have a PhD, so I mean, I guess they just want to keep him from telling people what he knows. But the issue is, if we go that direction, um, they or the issue is, if I try to uh, remove all the things that YouTube might not like about my channel, there really won't be a channel left, right? Um, now I could turn my channel into one of the normal sort of YouTube science channels where I like do a silly little experiment. Um, you know, can I bounce a laser off itself or something stupid like that, right? Uh, I, I have no interest in that. I'm not trying to become a YouTuber. I am a biohacker. My goal is to disrupt the biotechnology system do that by sharing information freely and openly with everybody I can who has any interest in this technology. This technology represents a significantly greater risk if it's centralized. If one person has this technology, they control way too much. The only way this technology is going to be used for the good, the general good of humanity is if it's democratized, if anybody and everybody can use it. We can't just have a small number of elite people with special knowledge and special power, especially when it's biology. Because we are biology. It's the software and the hardware we run on. If someone has control over that, they could control you. They could control your children. They could control the evolution of humanity. They could control everything about us that makes us who we are. The only way that doesn't happen over the next hundred years is if everybody has those tools. If everybody can understand how it works and, and see the things as they happen, right? And act with equal power to some, you know, bad player. So it's important that people be educated freely and openly. YouTube was a good platform to do that because you don't have to pay to watch the video. Um, it's easily accessible, their algorithms sort things really well according to your interests, and so on. But if they're going to continue to deplatform biohackers, if Patreon's going to continue to deplatform biohackers, at least biohackers who, like, do things, then we're, we're going to be silenced completely eventually. Um, 
There's, it's really only a matter of time before my channel is deleted. I have put, um, I have backups uh, in other places um, so that I can protect my Patreon. Uh, and I think it's important uh, that the information is preserved, but I don't know how to present it. Um, so if one morning you get up and my channel has disappeared, you know that they got me too. If you want to, please download all of my videos, distribute them elsewhere, circulate it around, because um, if we can spread it around, maybe the day I get deplatformed won't hurt so bad. So yeah, that's the bad news.